Today, I'm going to cover all the Rust glitches and tricks that I know of and that still work today. These glitches and tricks have been kept in my vault for over a year now and they will definitely give you a huge advantage over your enemy. So make sure to watch all the way to the end. Alright, this is probably one of the coolest glitches in the video, so check this. So I'm going to put some mustaches, mustaches here, right? Um, by the way, for this glitch to work, you must have a parachute on you, otherwise it's not possible. Then you need to build this weird wooden thingy into a hill and then just jump until you go under the ground. So another way to actually uh, find satchels from the ground, and that is by just placing satchels on the ground, right? Adding some loot into it. I'll place this, add some of this and this one. And I mean, you can hide it. And if you place a uh, foundation or anything wooden of it, right? Then it should come up. I mean, yeah, wooden foundation. Weak wooden, but oh, you get the point. Oh, well, that, that's my bad. But yeah, basically it just despawns the thingy. Stop trying to glitch inside a rock. Do you really think that's possible? Instead, it's time to play Raid Shadow Legends. The game that will transport you to a world of epic battles, mystical champions, and untold adventures. Are you ready to embrace the darkness and become a legend? Join me on this extraordinary adventure as we delve into Raid Shadow Legends. Let's start off with the legendary clan boss Hydra. This monstrous challenge is unlike any other. The Hydra boasts not one, but six unique heads, and each head represents a daunting boss battle in its own right. First up, we got the Head of Decay. It weakens your team over time and interferes with healing. Next up, we got the Head of Wrath. This is one angry boss. It weakens and taunts your team like the roof camper who camps your door. Opt for hard-hitting champions who strike once for the best strategy. Join quickly before October ends. The retreats and tricks this Halloween. Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below. Copy your in-game player ID and then venture over to raidyard.playerium.com from October 15th to November 10th. Simply enter your player ID and then venture into the haunted graveyard. Some amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes. Ranging from epic and legendary Halloween themed raid champions to amazing gift cards with a total value of $20,000. Also, this month, Amazon Prime members can earn themselves some special in game goodies. With all the cool events happening in raid, why not start playing if you haven't already? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get crazy bonuses. I'm talking about the epic champion Drake. Once you became a legend, Come find me under the username GameSense, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. So just hit my link in the description, and I'll see you on the battlefield. But with this glitch, you can basically go inside of Excavator and shoot people when they're trying to take the diesel out or anything like that. So check it out. Basically, you get a horse into the middle of Excavator, and then you turn it on. Yeah, so I messed up the first time and got the, got the horse stuck, but it's, it's a pretty easy glitch if you practice it one or two times. But yeah, basically, you gotta get the horse between these two metal box thingies. And then you just wait until the metal box pushes you into it. It's, it's weird, just look at it. Finally, when you make your way inside, wait till you're in the middle of it and then jump out. Um, keep in mind, if you go down into the middle part of this, you fall through the textures. So I recommend staying where you are right now, like on the little thingy majiggy. Otherwise, you just fall through. And yes, you can also shoot through it, which is nice. Next up, we got the most useless glitch in the game, which is using the HVs, HEs, whatever. The, the, anyway, the explosive grenades to place a ladder down. So pretty much you just shoot it, aim in, and then you can place it. Yep. Uh, definitely not cost effective, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so for this glitch, right, you're going to need a friend. Uh, I don't have a friend, so I'm going to use Timmy here. This is Timmy and basically you want to get glitched inside like this and then in theory you should be able to shoot outside yeah uh that's that's about it i'm pretty sure you can do this alone as well but i don't know how okay now i'm going to give you the best dome tips you have ever seen in rust first up many people know there is the original way up which is from here right but the problem with this is there's a one angle two angle three angles there's a lot of angles to hold this part so it's not recommended to go to go from here right because it's a pinch point but not many people know is that if you go from here, there's a second way into the dome actually. So you go from the back here, you jump in, boom, you jump in here, go around the metal pole. Actually, before you do this, I genuinely recommend practicing this because this can get you killed easily. So don't have a huge ego. Practice this before you do it. And then all the way around, you get here, right? And you can just jump in and boom, you're inside a dome, right? But what I like doing here is a little bit more advanced. So during night time, when players come to loot this, crate here right they removed the crates from up there brought one back down here 
you can do is you can have a player here, right? All right. And you just AFK here. And until you see a flashlight coming from here, you just boom, kill him and then jump in. Boom. That's already one enemy down. Three more to go, right? The second way to get in, uh, or the third way, I would say, is from these silos here. What you do is you jump on this. Boom. Boom. Get a teammate to boost. Go all the way up from the pipes like previously. Get here. Walk, walk, walk. Don't jump. No, well, don't crouch. Just jump. Then crouch. And you're in just like that. Recommend having a teammate go there. Be a distraction. They're going to shoot down there. Uh, now, this is the second floor here, right? Uh, this is the outside. And if you want to get up top a lot faster, and if you have teammates, what you can do is ask your teammate to stand right here. Boom. They're standing. You jump on their heads. Jump here. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Make your way to here. Jump on this. Jump on this. And... Well, well it's going to take me uh, two tries. But, okay, maybe three. Right? Don't judge me. I haven't played Rust in a, in a month. Don't, don't judge me, okay? College and stuff, right? And boom. You're on the outskirts. And then, like, another ten seconds. And you're already here. This is the main point where the whole dome. Right? Boom. Uh, from up here, it's the crates. So it's a really nice place. Okay, I can't be asked. Right, now, you're in the same situation as before. There's many ways to get up. You don't know where to go from, right? Well, technically, you could actually do this. So most people go from here, right? They go up there and they get killed in the middle. You can also go from here. This is the original speedrun route where you just jump from the back here. Boom, boom, boom. Go all the way around. Find the double pipes. And then you just um, jump in the middle of them. One, two, three, four. And just like that, you're on top. And you're behind the enemy. Look, he's dead. Oh, I'll show you some cool angles to hold this place from. Uh, my personal favorite is this one right here. So the problem with dome and holding dome usually is the fact that you have to go from all the way up there and whatever and to loot the thing and you can't really do it like you have to actually play the game what i figured out is a way to afk the game right so basically um you can just crouch right here and just listen for foot, listen for footsteps right and if you're wondering the crates have respawned um you can just uh, look right there like zoom in and you can see a green crate you can do a whole loot run but yeah i usually just afk here if i hear someone i kill them there if i don't hear them right away I hit him right below me and killed him here. Since most people, as I said before, um, don't know how to loot this place properly. So they don't go from here. I went one down. Okay, now you can see it. There's one here. Uh, there's one there. But as long as you hit the big pipes and hold W against them, uh, you don't take fall damage. Yeah. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll show you just in case. Because I'm in god mode right now. So I'll get some meds. God zero. Uh, fall from this high. See, took damage, right? But if I jump from here, I'll be fine. Jump, hit the pole, and you're chilling. No fall damage at all. It's as long as you hit, what's it called? The edges of these silos, you don't take fall damage. So let me show you what I mean. So as long as you hit this, you're fine. I mean, it works in all the silos. So let's say I go from here, boom, hit this here. Ah, you didn't see that one. Did not see that one. I don't know. But it, it usually... <laughs> Nine times out of ten, it does work. I'm not trying to sell you a Ponzi scheme here, all right? It does work. Mm. Oh, and for all those wondering, but why Why do you not use the double pipes? Well, one, um, most people expect people to use the double pipes. And the second thing is people have been taught wrong on how to use this. You're not actually supposed to hold W or S in the middle and go down like this. You want to hold W against one of the pipes, then it works. If you just stand in the middle, there's a good chance you die. So don't do that. It's right around here. So if you take your image to zero, you can see this part pretty clearly. And since a lot of people like go from here, they get stuck in this place. So you can just kill them right here. And if they do get past you, you can just go right here. Wait for them to hit the ladder and just pay them down here. Just fine. So yeah, that's also an unexpected place. All right, and now, now I wonder if this one still works, but I think it should. So we're in the launch site right now, on top of the main building. And if you go in this corner, you should stop taking uh, radiation damage. Oh yeah, I heard they actually recently uh, made the crates on the launch site better, better as well. So this is pretty OP, I think. Anyway, 
Uh, long story short, I'm not taking any radiation anymore. And you might be wondering, what's the point of this? I mean, it's kind of crap. You still can get shot from the outside, right? Well, yeah, but you can also just go a uh, story below and just AFK here. Log out, log back in, loot the crates, and you're chilling. I think you, I don't think the elite crates respawn if you get, like log off here, but the green crates definitely should because the green crates go from here, which is really interesting because you got pretty decent cover as well. You know? So yeah. So we all know there's like some parkour bit right uh, below here in this room. There's a pretty decent amount of crates, in, in, even even green crates, right? Uh, what you can do is uh, just go here, boom, you're at the spot in launch site. And if you look at this, you see nothing, correct? But the, what you do is turn down object quality, put it to zero, and you can just see if there's crates here. And then you know if, when to loot this part or not. So you don't actually have to do the parkour if you're unsure if there's, it's been looted or not. That's pretty cool. Oh, and for some really weird reason, if you're ever inside here, if you're ever inside here, you're being chased, there's two things you can do. You can do some pretty sick parkour right here. Boom. Skip the middle, right? Or you can go to the back here and just jump outside the window and hit this ledge right there. If you hit this ledge right here, you don't take any fall damage. What else? Oh, you can also climb this uh, this pipe right here. Uh, it's like a ladder, which is pretty interesting. I didn't know that for a really long time. Uh, check this out. I'm going to place player here. Spawn player. And let's say... This is a really specific situation, right? This is a this is a really specific situation I'm showing you guys here. But let's say there's a guy here, and you, you want to kill him, but he's camping the camping the thing, and you don't want to go near him. What you can do is um, go to one of these windows here, on the other side of the uh, like fake recycler building, and you can jump on top of here. And if you look closely enough, you should be able to hit this. Uh, I think I need a laser for this to work though. Boom. Got it. Uh, that should be it, right? That should be it. And he's down. So, yeah. This is a very specific situation you're going to be in. But it does work. I mean, I'll show this as well. Just, just because this is a really common trick. But if you look for this little edge here, you can see if you go over it, it like, bumps you up. Pretty, pretty much you want to be on the bottom, bottom of this edge. And you can just oh, crouch jump on, onto the wall. So, yeah. That's the thing as well. So it's one of the best tricks you can actually learn in launch site. It saves you a lot of time. I wonder if they patched this actually. Uh, you were able to see through these doors at one point, which was pretty funny. Not able to see. Oh, or under it. Was it under it? Let me see. Let me see. Grenade. Grenade. Okay. Does it go through? I can't tell. Bomb player, god one. I I do I do want to survive this actually. Maybe. I mean he is dead, so it does work still. I wonder if it works the other way around as well. So let's say we have a guy here. Oh, okay, yeah, it definitely works. <laughs> it definitely works. Okay, that's, that one is kind of bad. I mean, yeah, you can... You can <laughs> my, my guy is dead. My guy is done for. Let's put a player right behind this. Like, right here. And let's go behind the door. Hit him with a quick... This is, this is oddly specific, I know. No? Nope. Oh, damn, that used to be a thing. What? Okay, wait, can you? Nah, okay. Okay, never mind. It's still a thing, but it's, it's a bit weird. Hold up. <laughs> this is so stupid. What the hell? <gasps> no way. This is still a thing. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, yeah. Okay, you can still you can still shoot for the sides of the door. Even the top. I wonder if you can... Okay. Like... Okay, I don't, I'm kind of bad at this. So you're in Oxums, or is this Oxums? I don't know which one this is. Anyway, you go to the back here. Let's say there's someone chasing you. You close the door behind you. You hit this door here, and boom, you, you crouch on here, and this is a really good angle because well, no one expects you to be here. 
basically, uh, most monuments uh, need either 11%, 26%, or 50% to enter, right? Uh, Mr. Solo is one of those monuments where you need only 26%. So let's say I'm taking this off. Put it back on. I get razzed, like a lot of those, right? So let me get myself a med kit here. So, so some clothes as well. The heavy kit, right? And some frog boots. So with this, I'm going to heal myself up real quick. Alright, so I'm 6 HP, 60, 80, 66 HP, whatever. Point is, if I put on the heavy kit here, I take rads, right? You can see me taking rads. But if I put on the boots, I have 26% rads, and I take no damage. Inside a monument, that is literally, the whole thing is close quarters. So, I mean, if there was a fight ever, and I pull up in a heavy kit, what are they gonna do? Like, like genuinely, what are they gonna do? So yeah, just uh, hit, get in the cave, run forward, and spam space, and you'll get it. Boom. Done. You're in. And you can blow up the base or whatever. Now, this last one is pretty random, but it's still useful. Let's say you want to get up to rocket, but you're below here. You can actually do a boost jump here. It's the same, similar to the... Similar to the rock jump, where there's like a certain edge you gotta hit, like on this thingy. See? Got it. And well, if you don't, if you get stuck here, you can jump from here as well. But fine. So I haven't done this one in a hot minute, but it's also possible to get on top of launch site without using key card. So um, I came up with this like a couple years ago, but it still works, which is nice. I mean, just um, get the Sam side to shoot you. Should be high enough now. Three, four, five, six, six rockets, and then you just. Put your minicopter right here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you're fine. Since when is there a green crate here? What? This is new. I mean, yeah. And if you want to get down, you just fix the thingy. And pray to God. You oh, and don't forget to use my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description. Or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses for new players with an epic champion.